Please choose your skill level. Welcome to the Age of the Great Guilds. Hello and welcome, my flightless friends, to Loom, made by Lucas Arts in about 1990. I think that's right. I'm not sure if that's 1990 of when this game was created or this version was created, but we are playing the enhanced version. This is the one that added, added all the voiceovers up the graphics just a little I think and the presentation style this is the version that you will find on Steam which is great I love seeing these old games get a second life on a platform such as Steam and this is just such a beautifully well told story and it's only a few hours long so grab a chair come join me on the story based channel and let's watch the story of young Bobbin Threadbear as he sets out on a quest. Rise, son of Signa. It is the dawn of your 17th year. The elders await you in the sanctuary. I've never known them to weave such a bright messenger nymph. I wonder why the elders want to see me. I'd better get down to the village. Press F9 to toggle text on screen. We are definitely going to do that. Because I always like having subtitles on, especially when you're recording. The last leaf of autumn. The last leaf of autumn. This is Loom. We are playing the character of Bobbin Threadbear. And we just woke up from apparently a long sleep underneath the sky. And we are going to see the Council of Elders. We are the child of Signa. That doesn't mean a lot to us right now, but, you know, we'll figure that out as we play. I am really excited to play this game. I have not played this game since, oh my goodness, the, the whole reason that I created this story-based gaming channel was to go back and play some of the classics that I love to play as a kid that I have not played in a long time. And I can't remember the last time I played Loom. It, it's, ah, oh, I'm so excited for this. So as always, I like to explore left to right. So as we enter the town, we go to the far left hut. I will be voicing anything that's not read to us. That's my policy. Although a lot of this stuff in this game, I believe, is all voiceover, so we don't need to worry about that. I will also be trying to click on everything I find. And by doing that, we can hear the full story behind the game. I'm not going to rush to finish this game as quickly as possible. I want to just sit back and enjoy the story that it has to tell. There's the long tapestry. I don't remember it looking so old and frayed. The threads describe the creation of the world and the passing of the two shadows. Creation of the world and the passing of the two shadows. And there's another tapestry over here, a blue one. You'll notice that there's nothing on the bottom of the screen. If you play point and click adventure games a lot, you'll be like, wait, isn't there supposed to be stuff down here? Yes, there will be in just a few minutes. Here's more of the tapestry. The pattern shows the entire history of the weavers back to the founding of the great guilds. We come over and there should be one more tapestry if I can remember. The last section tells about the decline of the guilds. There's a third shadow gathering. That's strange. The end is completely torn off. It's almost like someone is trying to cover up something that we aren't supposed to know. Oh, here's all the elders and their wonderfully colored cloaks. There's Hetchel. And the elders don't look at all pleased with her. You have heard the findings of this council, Dame Hetchel. Have you anything to say in your own defense? My elders, my actions speak for themselves. This reckless defiance is intolerable. Any secret you share with Signa's son might be turned against us. His talent is awakening, and the power is very strong in him. 
We dare not desert him now. Stubborn old fool. Who are you to decide such things? Enough, Flakesis. Petro, I am grieved to see your many years of service end in such disgrace. My destiny is yours to weave. Petro, the fabric of your life has been woven by your own choices. Gaze once more upon the great loom, if you would know your ultimate destiny. For that destiny is now upon you. What? A swan's egg. What does it mean? Something is deeply wrong. That draft has never failed before. What is that noise? Outside, the guild is under attack. Who dares to desecrate the great loom of the weavers? This is the work of that demon boy. We should kill him while we still... I, I didn't do anything. Your name will be cursed forever, son of Signa, loom child. My name? But I had nothing to do with this. Wait, where are you going? <sighs> no explanations. No goodbyes. And once again, I'm left behind. It's heavier than it looks. So, so now we have the distaff. And as you can see on the bottom, we have musical notes. And the way this game works is, which is really, really cool, and I love this, is you cast spells based upon a four note pattern. And you have to learn the music through the game. So for example, you heard a spell being cast in four notes, and that transformed the people into swans. At the beginning, we only have C, D, and E. But as we practice, We'll get higher and higher letters, which will allow us to cast more advanced spells. The egg it's trying to open. You also notice that sometimes the voice dialogue cuts off. That's just a glitch in the game. That's nothing on my end. The egg is trying to open and it also taught us a spell. Always make sure you have like a pen and paper handy with you. I have my little phone. I'm typing these in as I go. But that one, E-C-E-D, was the open spell. Uh, oh, there's my boy. Hatchel, why are you a duck? The whole village has flown away without us. From the moment you came into this world, Bobbin, great and terrible things have been happening. The elders hoped that your birth was the cause of it. Why would the elders want to get rid of me? I'm such an awful weaver that they never even let me study with the others. They fear you, Bobbin. When the swan arrived, they were already trying to weave the same draft on you that they had worked on me. The draft turned against them. It means only one thing, that the pattern is failing of its own accord. No, can't it be stopped? Stop chaos? The only thing to do is embrace it and turn ourselves into creatures of shadow or plan our escape. Escape? To where? I don't know, but if we are to survive, we must find out where that flock has flown and join them if we can. You've already found Atropos's distaff. Good. You won't be able to weave very much with it at first, but as you practice, its true power will be revealed to you. It's time to leave this island, Loom Child. Your destiny lies beyond the sunset, across the sea. Mother Hetchel, where are you going? Goodbye, Bobbin. I must follow the swan. Hetchel. Well, this is a fine mess. Everybody's gone and I still don't understand what's going on. Oh, 
Why did they keep calling me Loom Child? Nobody's ever let me anywhere near a loom. So we have our quest. We need to figure out where the swans went. To at the same time, try to avoid whatever disaster is coming. Pointing to this torn weave thing over here. We do know that they call us the cursed child. So maybe there's a prophecy about us that say bad things will happen. Well, that's very, you know, normal for a video game, I suppose. Kid is born. Prophecy made about kid. You try to get rid of the kid. Only to find out that by trying to get rid of the kid, you make the whole thing happen. It's very, it's very much a Greek thing. <laughs> it's true. If you ever read like Greek mythology, whenever you try to get rid of the kid that the prophecy is made about, you just end up happening. It happened with Paris of Troy. It happened with Perseus. Happened with what's that one guy's name? Oedipus Rex. Same thing with Oedipus Rex. Ooh, some gold. Don't these people ever clean up after themselves? It also is that it's darkness. Wonder wonderful. I can't see a thing. In order to cast a spell, you have to be able to click on something. So the fact that this says darkness means that we need to find a spell that can light up the place. Let's continue exploring this little town here first before we move on. We're on the hunt for spells. That's what we want. Some sort of flask here. Oh, pour it out. G-E-E-D. So G-E-E-D has to do with a flask being emptied or an item being emptied. So we need to write that down. So later, if we need to empty anything or probably my favorite thing about this game is if you cast the spell backwards, you do the opposite effect. So if we need to empty anything, we cast it forward. If we need to fill anything, we cast it backwards. It's really, really cool. I love it. That's the book of patterns. I already know what's in it. Well, can we practice our magic on it? I already know what's in it. I guess not. Some nice green. Grass green. I hate that color. I guess not nice green, according to Bob and Threadbare here. This wool hasn't been dyed yet. So we have some wool that's not dyed. This wool hasn't been dyed yet. And we have a dye pot. C, C, C. D. Grass green. I hate that color. Yes, you hate that color. You said that. I am trying to look at my notes. Write this down. What was that? C, 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 D. Yes, C, 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 D. Grass green. I hate that color. To empty was G, F, F, E. It's still dripping. What a mess. Come on. I want to hear it again. G, E, E, D. G, E, E, D. Man, I'm glad I double checked that because I wrote that wrong. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I just messed up. I delete the wrong thing. Do that one more time, please. It's still dripping. What a mess. G, E, E, D. Always need to write these down. By the way, if you play this game multiple times, I believe there is a little bit of variance in the spells. So you have to make sure you take notes because if you don't take notes, then you may get to a point in the game where you can't, you can't proceed because you didn't write down all your spells. The color, if I go CCCD, this should change to green. Yes. Color changed. Now we can do it here as well. Ugh, green again. Now what you can do, like I said, is cast backwards. So if we do DCCC. Look 
looks much better in white. I don't know why they say it's white. It looks blue to me. What do you guys think? Does that look blue or white? We're also going to reverse these as well. There is a experience bar that exists in this game, although I don't know how that experience bar works. There. Looks much better in So white. what I always remember doing is just casting everything on everything once. So we change all the colors, you know, here. There. And then Looks we change this one white. as well. And therefore we're making sure we're casting our spells as much as we can. Also, it gives us an opportunity to get used to the spells. There. Perfect. Looks much better in white. So the room is clear, so we're done with this room. We still have this darkness room here that we need to explore in just a bit. And let us go all the way into this creepy forest before we go down to the pier. We also have the sky overhead. What do we got? We have a hole. D. There's an owl in there. Okay. D. What? There's another hole. Do you see? Another owl. There's a hole. Didn't know there were so many owls in these woods. D. C. C. There's a fourth hole. This will give us final That one is empty. Okay, it won't give us our final spell. We need to find an owl. Ah, there's the owl. Hey, owl. I know I'm a flightless bird and you're a flight bird, but could you help out, you know, a feathered friend? He's fast asleep. Guess not. Oh, there is a rabbit over here, though. Look at those eyes just staring at us. Hello, little rabbit. Ouch. Oof. Oh no, little rabbit! No! Gravestone here. Destiny shall draw the lightning down from heaven, roll its thunder far across the sea, to where I wait upon the shore of wonder, on the day the sky is opened and the tree is split asunder. Memory of Lady Signa Threadbare. That is our mother. 7983 to 8004. And it just read the tomb's inscription. It's basically telling us that we need to open the sky. Destiny shall draw the lightning down from the heaven. Woe's thunder far across the sea. To wear away upon the shore of wonder. On the day the sky is opened and the tree is split asunder. So we need to open up the sky. The day the sky is opened. Opened. And the sky is right here. <laughs> Maybe I should stand a bit closer. We're not in the right location. Okay. There's a grave. We can try to open the grave. No, on second thought, this is probably a really, really bad idea. We should not be opening up graves. Oh shoot, it worked. Huh? Ah! Just as well. Some things are better left alone. Yeah, that's 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 true. Some things are better left alone. I'm glad that did not work. Hello, Mr. Tree. You should be here now, right? All the holes are full now. They taught us a new spell, DCCD. So that spell can only be cast one direction, so it's only got one purpose. It's dark out. I'm only assuming that spell is a light spell, because we needed a light spell, not one cave. Let's go ahead and try to open up the sky once again. Maybe I should stand a bit closer. Apparently we're not good here either. But there is a spot at the very beginning of the game where we started. We were right next to the sky, so maybe we need to do it up there. There was also a tree. And this looks so much like Monkey Island. 
No, it doesn't. I, I just get the feel of Monkey Island just walking around this place. I, I don't know why. If you're wondering, yes, I will be playing Monkey Island on this channel without a doubt. I'll probably play it after the Quest for Glory series, though. You know, one because it's a long series, just like Quest for Glory. So I'll play one at a time. It's dawn. All right, let's see if we can open up the sky at dawn. Huh? It worked. Oh my goodness. Lightning bolt hits a tree. And the tree goes down. I hope we weren't a part of that lightning strike though. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can only imagine just standing right next to something and a tree exploding and going down the cliff in a flame. Oh. So the tree is now down by the dock. Oh, we got a bunch of seagulls. Hi, seagulls. Mine, 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 mine. Is it over? Is it over? Yeah. <laughs> that would be my exact reaction. Let's go ahead and head down to the dock now. You can see the tree is also split. This game has such wonderful music, but it doesn't play all the time. I really wish it was, you know, a constant musical score in the background. I know that some of that Quest for Glory didn't really have either. But still, I, I like it a lot. Let's, before we go to the port, we got the light spell, or so we think. Let's go ahead and try it out in here. Let's click on the eyes. Wonderful. I can't see a thing. And it's D, C, C, D. Now you can cast with the keyboard or the mouse. I usually like to cast with the keyboard, except for the high C, because I'm not really sure how to do that one. And let there be light. We have straw. Don't these people ever clean up after themselves? And we have gold. Don't these people ever clean up after themselves? And a... Wheel. C, 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 E. Okay, let me write that down. C, 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 E. If you're playing along, make sure you write everything down. That's really interesting. We have green color is C, 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 D, and straw to gold is C, 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 E. Hmm. And I'm assuming that's straw to gold because that's exactly what this looks like. Or is it gold to straw? The straw to gold, gold, only one way to find out. Let's click on the gold. It sees too many times. Hmm. I guess that. No, it's not a draft. Flightless bird messed up. It's all right. I don't think I spun that right. Okay, so we did CCCE and that didn't work. So my first impression was it was probably straw to gold because you weave straw into gold, very Rumpelstiltskin-y. So if we do this on the straw, there we go. And we just leveled up. We now know the key of F. But before we leave, let us reverse this. Yeah, that's that looks good. That looks better to me. A lot of Uncle Stiltskin things, you know, early on with the King's Quest game. Of course, you had that horrible Rumple Stiltskin puzzle. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe one day when I play King's Quest, I'll try to explain how ridiculous that Rumple Stiltskin puzzle was when it first came out. If you don't, if you're interested, go look it up. It basically was just, it, it wasn't what you thought it was. It was ridiculous. We got some goals. E, C, E, D. And I like how each goal, like if you watch each goal's mouth, you'll see one at a time. Each one of the goals, like, mouth off something. Yeah, let me do that again. See, the second one, the first one, the third one. Now watch the fourth one on the right. I love that. That's so cool. It's the little things that make me happy. Oh, I don't know why we're trying to open up the goal. 
So in this game, the red means that you did that it wrong. That must not be the right draft. And the white means you did it right. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to get to this clam. And here you go, buddy. Aww. See, the flightless player looks after its uh, feathered friends, even if you're not flightless. Yeah. <laughs> So we have a tree that we can go ahead and boogie board on now. And this will allow us to get to the next area because we have a staff to use as a paddle. Now we can sit back and listen to some amazing music. Oh, the seagulls are chasing us. If you are playing along, go ahead and post in the comments what your spells look like. I'm really interested to see if, you know, your playthrough was much different from ours. So we have the goals over here and we have this giant twister. Water spout. F, D, D, E. I think that's close enough. Okay, let me write that down. F, D, ah, D, E. Wish I had a pen and paper instead of a phone. So FDD causes a twister. So to untwist it, we gotta do it backwards. E D D F. Woohoo! So whenever we see a puzzle that involves some sort of twistiness. We know we can cast that spell in reverse to untwist it. And we're on the beach. And we have the letter G. We have a forest here and we have a city here. Once again, I always like to go left to right. So let's start by going to the forest. The city is off to our right. We'll go there in a second. Let's enjoy our nice walk through the forest. Oh, hello. CG, CG. Halt! Who goes? Well, well, well. Looks like a scrawny runt trying to sneak into our flock. Sneak! You call that sneaking? I heard them coming all the way in from down. Thought you were going to fleece some shepherds, did you? Maybe we ought to take the shears to you instead. Wait, wait, we're not, we're not. Listen, I mean, I'm not looking for sheep or trouble. I'm looking for birds. I'm looking for a flock of swans. Swans? Swans. You know. Birds. <laughs> oh, swans. <laughs> of course. We should have known. Somebody does Everybody birds comes here hands. when they want swans. <laughs> <laughs> next, next you'll be telling us you're some sort of wizard. Well, off to we are actually. Fly away with them birds. <laughs> right. A wizard? Wizard? You wouldn't happen to be the great wizard that Fleece was telling us about, would you now? Oh. I don't Please. He is sort of dressed like a wizard. I don't know. He doesn't look very powerful to me. Me neither. I say we don't let him by until we know for sure. Come on then, wizard. Let's see some magic. Uh. Or else. <laughs> All right, they want to see some magic. Let's, let's give them this spell they just cast on us. They did CGCG CG to become visible. So if we do the opposite, it should turn us invisible, right? There's nobody better at stealth than a shepherd. Aye, <laughs> and you'll have to do better than that to get past us. I guess it doesn't work. Maybe we can form a tornado at their feet. You know, blow them away. Literally speaking. No, that's not gonna work either. Well, that draft didn't seem to do much good. 
Well, turning white into green is not going to help here. Emptying a container is not going to help here. Opening is not going to help here. So we do not have... I sure wish I knew a draft that would work on shepherds. I don't think we know a draft here that will help us. So we're going to have to come back. Let's head to the city. Come on, lads. He's had enough. Let him go. Some kind of wizard, eh? Don't trip on your robe, little wizard. Get on, you lazy bunch of yous. Back to work. G C G C. Well, let's head to the green city. The emerald city. Very Oz-like. By the way, if you ever want to watch a really good Oz TV series, there was a show that came out called Tin Man, which was fantastic. It starred Zoe Deschanel along with Neil McDonald. It was fantastic. I love that show. So there's a chalice here. But we don't have access to it. But we can go up this way, and we could go this way. So let's start by going this way. Once again, I always like to go left before I like to go right. And that's going to put us where? Okay, we're in the background. And there's some sort of crystal here. Huh. A glass bell. I wonder what will happen if... Ah. Teleporters. With glass bells. I'm dizzy. Yeah, I would be dizzy too. Oh, hello. I'm Bob and Threadbear. Have you seen my mother? Welcome to Crystal Guard, stranger. I'm Master Goodmode, 31st in the Noble Guild of Glassmakers. And who might you be? My name is Bobbin. Bobbin Threadbear of the, um, Noble Guild of Weavers. A weaver! Tell me, is it true that to peer beneath a weaver's hood brings instant agonizing death? I honestly don't know. Nobody's ever tried it with me. Yeah, let's not try that out. You have such a wonderful view of the sky here. Have you noticed a flock of swans flying this way? Swans? Swans? Yes. You know, you know, birds. birds. <laughs> yes, yes, swans. <laughs> no, I haven't heard of any swan sightings. I love that. Look around your heart's content, weaver threadbare. And remember, if you break it, you buy it. <laughs> By the way, if you watch our Quest for Glory playthrough, I believe when we're going up uh, Rockabark Falls. No, that's Sherlock Holmes. What, Erasmus's place. If, when we're going up the mountains in Erasmus, there's a the statue. And one of the responses, I believe, is, I'm Balvin Threadbear, have you seen my mother? And that's, of course, you know, a reference to this game, which is fantastic. Tell us. That's beautiful. I've never seen anything sparkle like that. Not even the long tapestry. What kind of glass is it? It was carved from a single crystal of diamonds. Why diamonds? You do glass. But I thought you were glass makers. <laughs> no, we are, we are. A dear boy, this is none other than the famous Chromax conundrum wrought by our distinguished founder, Lucent Bottleblow. His works once filled the entire museum, you know? Uh, that was before the great dragon arrived in 7342. She blew through this city like a torch, melting and breaking our finest works, plundering oh, our museums the and dragon treasuries carried until someone. we had almost nothing left. It was awful, just terrible, really a miserable time. Uh, even Bottleblow's greatest masterpiece, the first scrying sphere, was lost forever. But you still have the conundrum. And a lucky thing, too. It was on loan to the Guild of Vintners at the time. It is the sole remaining example of our Founder's transcendent genius. But I'm still curious. Why is it diamond <laughs> instead of glass? We've no idea. No idea at all. That's the conundrum, you'll see. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> so we have the diamond chalice. I wonder if we can turn this change color. So the green color was CCCD. No. That didn't help at all. Let's go opposite. No. 
No, that didn't work. Well, that drop didn't seem to do much good. However, we do have a container spell that we picked up, and we have the QG now. So why don't we try that? Oh, though we had to do it backwards, it's already empty. So that would be D E E G. Aha! I wonder what we filled it up with. Like, what kind of liquid is that? Hmm. I wonder where that dragon went with Bottle Blow's other treasures. So I don't know what the purpose of that is. Just get us experience, I suppose. There's a plaque. Are we in some sort of graveyard again? Soft shard, wife of loosened Bottle Blow, here attain final clarity. All right, I really don't want to open this up again. Uh, should we? Should we not? It, it's a bad idea to cast open spells on graves. Let's not do that. Doesn't seem to be anything else we can click on in this area, though. Wow, there's a lot of graves here. Beautiful place, though. Wow, look at this place. This is just gorgeous. We got some workers up top. Hello. What's going on up there? I don't know. Let's go. Oh. Before we find out, there's some people talking. Let's have a listen, shall we? I can barely hear what they're saying. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.